right now let's come back and solve one more uh, uh, numerical which is based now uh, gradually we are going into the nernst equation right let's see this here this is quite common question <coughs> in your board paper let's see how to do this uh, what do they ask us calculate the emf of the cell okay i have i need to calculate the e cell of the given um, cell notation at 25 degrees absolute temperature 25 degrees is given and they've given here one cell notation you this is the most important thing which you have to remember then after that they've given you the electrode potential values for both chromium and iron now as soon as such question is given to you try to first make the write the balanced equation how to do that suppose if this reaction or this cell notation is given to you write the anodic half cell reaction and cathodic reaction now initially start from here now this is your chromium chromium 2 plus 3 state they've already given plus 3 copy that plus 3 how many electrons here two electrons okay three electrons isn't it three plus three three electrons have transferred because plus three this is your oxidation half cell reaction done oxidation now this is your iron fe now fe plus two because this from here till here it has gone three electrons so three is a transaction of electrons here fe plus two is going but how many does fe plus 2 require it requires only two electrons so fe this is your reduction now you have to balance the electrons balance the electrons multiply this with two because i have to cancel the electrons isn't it to cancel here you have two here you have three multiply with two here multiply here three here with three now what does this reaction look like this becomes two cr two cr plus three Okay, let us combine both here also. This is 2 Cr and this becomes 3 Fe plus 2. Right. Now, 3 2s are 6 electrons, 2 3s are 6 electrons get cancelled. Now, we are left with, now this 2 is also here, you have to be careful, plus 3. Now, this 3 is also for Fe. This is your final reaction. Now, how many electrons have transacted totally if you see? 3 2s are 6 here, 2 3s are 6 here, so n is equal to 2. That is the first data which you have to get. How did I get 6? After balancing. After writing a stoichiometric equation only, I could know this is 6 electrons. Hope you have understood. Write the oxidation half cell reaction. Write the reduction half cell reaction because plus 3, 3 electrons. Plus 2, 2 electrons. Now to cancel the electrons, I have multiplied cross multiply with 2. So that this becomes 6 electrons. Here I multiply with 3. So that becomes 6 electrons and write the final. So n is equal to 6 electrons of trans. Now, what should I calculate? I have to calculate the EMF of the cell. First, E cell is equal to E naught cell minus your, uh, this is uh, 2.303 RT by NF log products. Now, what is the product here? Just see, for this equation, it is CR plus 3, CR plus 3 divided by products that is by CR plus 3 by CR. Okay, if you do not to confuse you, I will write everything. CR plus 3 by CR. Again, for the second one, Fe by Fe plus 2. Fe by Fe plus 2. So, this activity, solid activity, and this solid activity is equal to 1. Because both are solids. Now, what am I left with? I am left with this equation. So, E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 rt by nf i am left only with ions isn't it this is chromium plus 3 divided by fe plus 2 that's it because this activity i have taken it's one let's come back now i have to calculate this i have to first calculate e naught cell then substitute this then nothing is given what is the formula for e naught cell e naught cell is equal to <coughs> e RHS minus E naught cell RHS minus E naught LHS cathode minus your anode. Okay, let us write that also. E cell is equal to E naught cathode minus E naught anode. 
what is cathode value given how much is it given now this is your oxidation is anodic reaction this is reduction cathodic so uh, iron is cathodic reaction which we have already got from the reaction uh, from the half cell this is anodic reaction now come back cathodic value is how much e cell is equal to minus 0.44 minus of anode is minus 0.34 when i solve this i get an answer of 0 0.3430 volts now substitute this value in the cell that is known the equation now i'm coming back and substitute this value when i substitute this value what do i get e cell is equal to 0 0.30 volts okay, 30 minus 2.303 okay r t 8.314 into t absolute temperature 25 into n how many electrons have transferred 6 we have already got 6 into 96500 log of now what is chromium what how much is the concentration given 0.1 right you have to be careful now what is the charge on that uh, the so not charge the coefficient of that how much is chromium raised to cr plus 3 is raised to 2 divided by how much next is fe fe how much is given fe given is 0 0.01 how much is stoichiometric balanced equation raised to power 3 when i solve the whole thing now this this whole thing i get after you solve this this becomes log 10 isn't it log 10 is 1 so after getting this whole thing log 10 and even you substitute this i get an answer of 0.26 volts so this is your emf of the cell so first try to solve this get the log value after try to multiply whole quantity and solve you finally get 0 0.6 to 6 volts so remember first writing the cell notation reaction is very important after finding n then write with your Nernst equation after Nernst equation you have to calculate e cell you will get that e cell only if you write this you will not know because you may get confused directly see which is anodic reaction cathodic and substitute and finally get the answer